Hello and welcome back to another video today. I'm actually doing the first episode for my new, uh, my new mock series, I guess. That is going to be, uh, Sulphur Fields from Battlefront. If you guys have never played Battlefront, you're missing out. Uh, <laughs> honestly, you should get the game. It's really fun. Anyway. Basically, I'm going to be building point A, I believe it's A, uh, from Sulphur Fields. And All right. Yikes! So this is, I drew this out. Obviously, this is kind of cringy, like what the heck. Basically, this line here in the middle is one gray base plate. This is going to be a two gray base plate mock. Obviously, this isn't going to be completely accurate to what it is, uh, but just... As of playing it, um, I, this is from my memory, but I'll probably play it again today and just double check. So, the weird thing with uh, Sulphur Fields is it has these, uh, like, pits of just, like, goo. So, um, this right here is the gonk droid right there. It says droid on it. Um, and obviously these tan patches, I just, I strew them on because it has them, but they're not in totally accurate areas. Sickest part of the map. The water is like a beautiful blue, so I really need to get that down in order to have a good mock, but anyway, so yeah. Uh, so basically the main color is dark tan. It's not exactly like the Lego color of dark tan, um, but that's pretty much, I have a bunch of dark tan and you know, it'll look fine. And then it has a lot of these weird little tan areas kind of around the, uh, dark gray and rock structures and uh yeah so this should be a pretty fun build um it's got a nice little water thing and these things that say rock are going to be rock work this is just uh it's not going to be a big rock work thing these are going to be like three bricks high each probably but this one is just going to be one brick high it's going to be like one by two and whatnot slopes um because it's kind of like a ridge and then you can come down to there and then there's these big two or three or so i don't remember how many that i think there's two uh big cargo things and then there's one with a couple of blue crates there this is all that is left of kashik i've been spending a mad amount of time trying to get rid of it in the past three or four days and uh it's not fun but i am very close and i already have all the gray base plates i need so i'll probably just quickly take this apart and then do a time lapse of actually building stuff. I'm not going to do a time lapse of this because it's boring, but for building, I will have time lapses. And yeah, I'm going to go and take all of this stupid filler apart and uh, get into a time lapse.
Alright guys, well that is going to wrap it up for the first update. Pretty much what I got done in this was just adding in some sick looking details. And I might have some pictures, like a cruddy slideshow at the end. But yeah, pretty much the thing I really wanted to do with this mock was just make it the best I possibly could. And you know, to me that meant actually having detail in the side panels or whatever just you know having it look cool rather than just regular bricks or just something else so yeah so basically what I've done here is I slide this back we have a base color of dark bluish gray um, and then we have obviously some dark tan and in the dark bluish gray I just have used uh, light bluish gray uh, silver and dark bluish gray studs um, and then that just makes it look pretty nice and then also having a couple pieces sticking out gives a nice texture and then for the uh, the dark tan I didn't want to use brown because it just seemed too dark so then I just went with uh, light tan studs and you know every once in a while having like a dark blue gray stud touching and I think it looks okay I definitely don't like it as much as the dark bluish gray but I think it looks fine and then here just have a nice looking cave. I'm actually going to bring this in because this looks really nice. I got a lot of sloping and snot technique in there. And I just really like the look of that. So that, I'm really glad with the outcome. But here you can see just a better look at all this stuff. So, definitely do like the look of it. Um, this actually might be my favorite part right here, the, this area of, um, light bluish gray. Looks really nice, and then over there, got a little bit of dark tan. But, I definitely think this adds a lot to the mock. It just gives you something to look at, not necessarily on top of the mock. And, yeah. So, thanks for watching. See you guys in my next video. Goodbye.